Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose a, b, and c are real numbers, where c is not equal to zero. If a, c is equal to b, c, then a is equal to b. Okay, so in proving this, we are going to use two facts which come from the field properties of the real numbers. The first is that for every real number a, a times 1 is equal to a. And the second is that every non-zero number has a reciprocal, right? And what that means is, for every non-zero real number x, there exists a real number y such that x times y is equal to 1. Right, so for every non-zero real number x, there exists a real number where if you take x and multiply it by that number, you get 1. Right, and that's the idea. So now let's get into proving the theorem. And notice, we're going to give ourselves three arbitrary real numbers where one of the numbers is not equal to 0. So give me any three real numbers, I'll call them a, b, and c, where c is not equal to 0. And our goal with these three real numbers is to show if this is true, then this is true. So let's assume that this is true. And our goal from here is to deduce that this is true, right? Now, since C is not equal to zero, we know that we can use this second statement, right? We know for every non-zero real number, this is true. So since C is a non-zero real number, we can take this statement and substitute X for C. And we have that there exists a real number Y such that C times Y is equal to one. Okay, and now we are going to establish a chain of equalities showing A is equal to B. And to start, we know that a is equal to a times 1, right? Because for every real number, capital A, we have that capital A times 1 is equal to capital A. So if we take this statement and substitute capital A for a, we get that a times 1 is equal to a. But we know that 1 is equal to c times y. So we can take 1 and substitute it with c times y. Now, Let's apply the associative property of multiplication, right, to move the parentheses around the a times c. And also, we know that a times c is equal to b times c. And now let's apply the associative property again to move the parentheses back to the c times y. And again, c times y is equal to 1. And of course, b times 1 is equal to b by our first fact. So. We have a chain of equalities showing that A is equal to B. And that's exactly what we wanted to deduce. So this completes the proof. And a similar argument could be used to show if A, B, and C are real numbers and A is not equal to zero, then if A, B is equal to A, C, then B is equal to C, right? Same sort of idea, it's just a different one. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.